Hello everyone, it's today's Mix here, welcome to a brand new video in The Sims 4 and today we are doing another speed build and this one is a 10k starter home I guess we can call this uh, it's a pretty fun house that I decided to build uh, like as a challenge uh, I wasn't really sure where to build, what to do, so I decided that doing an entire house under 10k trying to make it so like a starter home kind of thing I think it was gonna be fun, it's fun, I think the final house is pretty cute, it's up on the gallery if you wanna check it out uh, for yourself, you can download it, you can uh, use the hashtag Citizen or you can use my ID which is Citizen with the spaces. and if you want to check out the screenshots, uh, those are at the end of the video, so there are gonna be some screenshots of course, as always. And uh, yeah, this house is a pretty easy layout, nothing crazy. I tried to use platforms just to make it a little bit more interesting. It has one bathroom, one bedroom, nothing crazy, a little kitchen, a little bit of a garden, nothing out of the ordinary. Just, I tried to make it look kind of interesting, kind of cool. And I think it turns out, like, it turned out pretty nice. I, I like it. And... Um, I tried to use not too many packs, I think I used like 5 or 6 different packs, not too many. Uh, I used definitely a lot of uh, Snow Escape, I used some Moschino, I used some Tiny Bit Living, and uh, something else I think, but not really too many packs, so if you don't own all the packs, I suggest you check this out and see if you have them, so you can download it if you like it. And uh, it's definitely like a nice little starter home, one bedroom, so it's just for one or two Sims at most. Uh, very small, very easy to work with, and it's a pretty nice modern house, I like it. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think about this house in the comments down below, because I'd love to know what you think. Personally, I really, really like it. So yeah, uh, I wanted to talk about the fact that I... I just went viral on Sims Twitter, uh, um, I tweeted something about liking all the games and I got like 2000 uh, likes on Twitter which is crazy and it's a number that I never ever imagined I could get. Um, so just so you know, I'm famous now, so um, you have to pay me to watch this, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about that just because it's... It was crazy, like, it, it, it happened, like, in basically overnight, like, I got 2k likes in, like, 24 hours, and uh, it's still going, I'm still getting notification all the time, and it's kind of a lot to take in, but I like, I, I'm, I mean, I think people resonated with the tweet, you know, so I guess that's good. Um, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, the link is down below, uh, follow me, because apparently I'm famous now on Twitter. Uh, on Sims Twitter, I'm not saying on Twitter, I'm not famous on Twitter, that's like a whole other story, but, um, you know, uh, people know me now on Twitter, I guess. Um, but yeah, that, that was just something fun that happened, and uh, yeah, uh, this house is l like little and there's nothing crazy about it. Um, let me talk about the house a little bit, just so <laughs> that we don't talk about Twitter. Um, I think it turned out pretty nice. I would have loved to have more money to make it look better, because I don't love it 100%, I think I could have done a little bit better if I had more money. But for the budget that we have, which is 10,000 simoleons, which is not even, like, it's a little, it's half the money that you get if you start with a starter sim, just one sim, and if you do the story mode in Kaz, you might get even more money, so honestly, this is a pretty affordable house for the amount of money that it requires, so just so you know, it's actually like a super super great deal if you want to download this. It's also a tiny home, so um, having the tiny living stuff back, um, you do get more perks for the house, so you pay less money uh, for bills, and I think there's something else that I don't remember. Um, it's not a tiny home, it's just a small home, but uh, it's, it still fits in, so I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. And uh, yeah, I, I like it, it's cute, it's nothing crazy, the screenshots are fun, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, hopefully, oh, oh my god, uh, well, I was talking about Twitter, I forgot about that, I'm doing the Simians Awards, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, you might not know this, uh, but I created the 
uh, some awards, an, a fake award show basically, for the Sims community. So if you want to vote, I'm gonna leave the links down below for the two voting categories. And we have so many different like categories to vote for. We have 14 different categories, two different links where you can go vote. Uh, so I highly suggest to check that out if you want to vote for more people. Um, these are just the nominations and after we get the nominations, uh, I'm thinking around the 16th just because I've, I was planning on the 15th, but on the 16th I have an exam. So I was planning on the 16th after the exam to release the nominations so that you guys can start voting for the actual like winners. And in 2021 we're gonna get the winners of these awards. And the categories are like best simmer, best cast creator, best builder, uh, best person on Twitter, best person on Instagram, best streamer. Uh, we got the best expansion pack of 2020. We got, uh, I don't know, we have some other stuff. And I he really, really highly suggest you check that out if you haven't. Uh, I know that a lot of people also really liked that idea. I know that some people didn't. Um, not gonna get into that. Uh, people can think whatever they want about the awards, honestly. Uh, opinions are fine and I take all the criticisms because I, it's literally something that I really wanted to do for fun. Uh, so if people have their criticism, I really like to apply it to it. For example, uh, people told me that uh, it would have been better to have a different like separate streamer category and then I added it just because that the people asked. So just so you know, I, I take the criticism. So if you have criticism about your words as well, give, leave them down below. I'm uh, super pleased with how they're turning out. I'm getting a lot of votes. I got like more than 2,200 uh, replies for each category. So um, it's a little bit of a process to gather all of them, but I I'm doing my work uh, while studying for the exams as well. Um, so, so I'm very pleased with that. Hopefully you guys will like that and uh, just go follow me on Twitter or follow uh, Simi's Awards on Twitter and uh, you should find all the information that you need. But yeah, uh, the house is basically almost done. I just add a little bit more landscaping, trying to use a lot of debug for that, just because we didn't have the money to landscape as well, since we did all this um, stuff for the interior of the house, I tried to make it look nice, so I didn't use the cheapest stuff. So in the end, we didn't have much money for the outside, so I decided to use debug. That's my reasoning. Hopefully you guys are not against that. Just because I think that debug is fair game since we have it in game. And uh, yeah, uh, it, it, it looks nice. I like it in the end. So you can let me know what you think about this house in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Simmons Awards. Uh, I'd love for you guys to give me some suggestions, some feedback. Uh, I'm really, really loving the feedback that I'm getting on Twitter. And um, I really, really hope, uh, I don't know, the awards go well and people like them. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But um, I'm, I don't know, I did this, uh, you're seeing me now place all this foliage right here. I take out most of it on this side just because it would clip inside the bedroom. Uh, but these like two planter kind of things are like decorative architectural things that I decided to add. So those, you can take them out and the house would be even smaller, I think. And uh, actually better for like the whole like tiny house thing but i really like the, the aesthetic of it so i kept it but you can do whatever you want okay, of course and uh yeah <sighs> i think i said everything i went viral i did the awards uh i talked about the house a little bit uh and the exams i have exams so um if you don't know i'm in uni right now so um I have doing my master's degree in uh, forensic psychology, so um, I really need to focus on my exams. This is like my first exam that I have to do, so I really wanted to do well. And uh, we'll see, we'll see what, what happens. So actually, maybe the content on the channel will slow down a little bit because of the exams. I hope not, I hope I can still push out a video a week, it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, but we'll see. Thank you so much for watching this video anyway. Uh, we're moving on to the screenshots right now. This is the house. You can see, pretty nice. I took out the tree from the front because I, I thought it covered the house too much. But we placed two trees in the back, like, mixed together, so it looks better. And this is the interior, nothing crazy. It's cute, it's fun. And I like it, I really, really do. 
uh hopefully you guys like it as well let me know what you think about this house what's your favorite part of this house the bathroom is very bland i know uh <laughs> but i mean it's not really i could have done much more with that but i guess this is it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please give a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already put on notifications so that you know when the next video is coming out thank you so much for watching go check the link in the description for the simis awards so you can vote for your favorite nominees and uh, thank you, just thank you so much for watching, for the support and everything. And now I'm famous on Twitter, so I don't know. Thank you so much and bye bye.